Hey guys, so welcome to the very first stream attempt from Collider Games. Uh, this is mainly just a test to see if uh, we're getting everything working on the tech side of things. Also, it's going to be a chance to show off just how bad I am at uh, at Fortnite here. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a shot. See see what happens. See what we get. Um, honestly, we're, we're we're gonna find out. Just uh just how bad I am. I, I started to get a little better at Fortnite. Really, really still haven't gotten the building down as quickly as I've seen some people erect some stuff. Honestly, seeing people build in this is, is insane when they can throw up uh, throw up defenses real quick. But uh, you know what? I'm going to see how long I can survive. Nine times out of ten, me surviving is just because I don't run into people. Uh, and then all of a sudden I die. Um but we'll see how it goes. All right. Drop point. So, okay, so this is my theory on drop points for me. Uh, and this is kind of just how I think, but ah, shit. My theory is don't screw it up from the very beginning by pressing the wrong. Um, yeah, that's, uh, we're off to a good start. We're off to a great start. So, I was gonna say my theory is usually get somewhere out on the edge and work my way back in, only because then I don't have to watch my back as much. Because uh, if you drop somewhere, even slightly in the center, you've got the potential of people coming from, at you from every direction. Yeah, just check the sky, make sure no one's uh, no one's coming the same direction I am. Honestly, the later I land, the longer I survive. I don't have much confidence in myself in this game. Now we've got some uh, good Fortnite players in the Collider family over here. I know Cobster, Ken Napsock, Cody, Dorian, all of them play. Uh, and they all play on PS4 as well, so we can still uh, we can still play together. We don't have to worry about the cross-play issues that have been plaguing this game. All right. All right. Anyone taking bets on how quickly I die? Um, if I don't run into anyone, maybe, like, maybe I make it to 30. But uh, if I run it, like if I run into someone, there's a 50/50 chance I'm losing to that person. That's probably more than a 50/50 chance. Oh, I hear that chest. There's stairs back here. This is the other thing, like, people are learning the maps so quickly and, and really, like, knowing the layouts of buildings and stuff like that. I have not figured any of that out yet. Oh. No, I I understand the building aspect for sure. Like, I, I get it. It's a cool mechanic. Uh, so I can't quite say that I hate it. I'm not good at it. Um, it almost feels like I, I wish there was, like, a class system, especially in squads, you know, like, where you have one person building and, and you know, like, you, you have attack and support. 
And I can't even jump up here. Um, yeah, I don't hear that chest anymore, so I have no idea where it is. Oh, I need to get inside the circle. Yeah, I'm gonna try and find another point to search within within the circle, just in case I lose track of time or anything like that. These kind of like lonely houses. Uh I never really know what to expect from them. Like sometimes they have some cool stuff. They usually don't. Oh, 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 I'm hearing some chest. That. Where is that? Oh, you're up there. See, I'm far too slow at this building. I was getting better at the like building speed and things like that and you know really having the control down but the second you go and pick up a different game and then come back to this it all goes out the window cuz it's cool mechanics and stuff but it doesn't it doesn't follow you know traditional expectations of of button layouts and things like that oh it's popping off nearby. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. See if this guy just doesn't notice me. Wow, you, sir, should be ashamed because I did not put up a good fight there. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm gonna go find some shield and find some... I got some bandage. Oh, that only works under 75%, huh? Oh, I'm gonna avoid people over there for a hot second. I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, maybe I can sneak up and do some damage, but really, I want to find health and shield before, oh, hello, before having to deal with people. Oh, God, uh, there's a lot of construction right here, a lot of potential for people. I need to find some health before I find people. Oh god. Where could it be? I need a shield potion, something like that, before I start running into people. or anything like that. Oh. I definitely hear someone else. Oh. Yeah, that'll do it.
Yeah, no, I deserve that one. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I gotta go in and buy some skins so that, uh, so that I look more intimidating. Is that the idea, Chris? No, I am happy to stream this as long as people are accepting of the fact that not only am I not great at this game, I might stream some Overwatch because I feel more confident in that game, but I know that people are big Fortnite fans, and I'm, you know, I'm enjoying the game. I'm just not good at it. Uh, I think the best I've finished was eight. No, actually, okay, the best I've finished is three, uh, is third, but... You know, it was really just the luck of not running into people. I've never had a game where I'm eager to not run into other players. Like, you know, with Overwatch or something like that, I, you know, I want to dive in there and and kind of prove myself and, and fight against this. And I'm not at that point yet with this game. Where right now I'm still excited to not run into people. Okay. Let's do this. For real this time. Let's try out here. And then I'm going to work my way in. Yeah, I have some, some of the building that people do once you're in, like, e top three, yeah, but even, like, even top 10 sometimes, you see people building so quickly. For me, like right now, building is just a way to give away your position. out for any other people dropping in the relative area. Outside the circle. I have to work my way in quick. Oh. I hear that chest. Where are you? You downstairs? Ooh, that could be fun. Okay. Is there is there an underground to this? Where is that chest? On the roof maybe? How are you so loud over here? Really? for now. Oh. 
Ah, well, that was crappy. Um, yeah, I've been looking into Vampire. Vampire came out at an interesting time because we were about to do E3 coverage uh, when we were, you know, we, like we were ramping up and we were just starting Collider Games. Um, so Vampire kind of got pushed under the rug as far as us getting time to really sit down and play with it. But uh, yeah, no, I was still interested in it for sure. Stay on the bus for a little while. Let's try back here. And we'll go kind of late. I will say this, I have never been the first person out. When I see like that counts already down to 96, and I'm like, who who are those four people who died? this early in it's 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 honestly impressive to me sometimes I, i've i've not yet been that bad So I've played around, you know, in this game myself, but I haven't really watched many other streams, especially I haven't watched anyone who's particularly good at this game. Maybe I should do that to pick up some strategy and things like that. Like, for instance, having the kind of build that you want, the, the kind of wall that you want just kind of preloaded seems to make sense. I'm sure that's a thing that people do early on. Or not. I don't know. Maybe people are just quick. But for me, it's about land, listen for chests, hopefully you can get a good weapon and a good amount of shield potions. And just be working your way inwards. That could be a fun one. I don't hear any chests. And I'm a little worried about how far outside the circle I am. So I'm just going to start walking. Uh, so, Dark Avenger, I know you commented a while back about having a better build for streaming. Are you experiencing tech issues? Is it just laggy? What's what's going on on your end? T 
tell me because this is like this is legitimately a test and I would love to be solving any issues so that we can be doing this regularly um, is it just the fact that I am streaming off my PS4 at home not at the Collider office um, and so I'm using my own Wi-Fi uh, you know maybe it's just the connection speed everything smooth here all right But I would love to do, like, our own custom layout for... See, and this, like, seeing the evidence of people on your way in is always a little unnerving. No buffering issues, voice level's great. I will say I did steal a microphone from the podcast studio to make sure this sounded... Uh, good, and I'm happy to know that you can plug in uh, a microphone like this in directly into a PS4. You know, that's something I did not know until we started setting this up. All right, clearly someone has been here. I need to find a potion quickly. Oh. Oh, you're really close. <laughs> oh. Probably not going to have much use for that. In fact, I probably want to keep this gun. Because that minigun takes a while to build up. And see, like, landing on the outside and working my way in seems like, you know, the strategy to me, but I feel like it gives such artificial numbers. Like, top 30 does not feel accurate to me. Like, I don't feel like I'm anywhere near that good at this game. But, you know... How the uh, stats of the game work, I guess. Oh, there was already. All right, where did that? Actually, I should take that. Hopefully, if I find someone, I see them before they see me, and it'll give a second for this minigun to charge. Yeah, Trey, I'll, I'll definitely start doing that, watching some other streamers and figuring out the strategy. One of the other things also is just getting uh, acquainted with all the items and, you know, what works best in general, what works best for your strategy. Um, I had a little bit of fun in the playground mode that was open, um, just finding things like, uh, you know, testing out what all the, the traps and uh, extra obstacles and stuff do like the the launch pads and the bounce pads and stuff like that i had never really like chanced testing those in game when i found when i found them and you know the playground mode was a great way to kind of mess around and build some stuff with that so hopefully that that occurs to you when you're actually playing later on Another chest up there. Nope, it's just the horn. Oh, 
There's one. Nope. I'm gonna keep that. Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, gonna be very stealthy about sneaking up on this dude in the cave. Ah, well. He knew I was there. <laughs> he totally did. I should have charged that minigun before coming around the corner. That would have been the smart thing to do. Um, eh, well. You live and learn, and then get loves. Well, you die and learn, uh, is the, uh, the game mentality. But yeah, no, I know, uh, Copster... Uh, and Ken Knapsack have been playing quite a bit, and they've been uh, streaming their stuff on Twitch uh, through Wangers and all kinds of stuff to that. Um, hey, also, good question there in the uh, in the chat. Um, this is Collider Games. Welcome. Uh, this was a channel that used to be uh, Tactical Elephant, uh, who was part of of another channel. And then Tactical Elephant left that channel, and the channel sat kind of not doing anything, and we realized we still had the channel, and we wanted to do something with it. So if, uh, if you're down to stick around, welcome. If not, no worries. Hopefully you've got some content you're interested in, um, but uh, no hard feelings if, if you want to go find something similar to what Tactical Elephant was doing. Drop. Back here. Yeah, I didn't realize Knapsack was such a gamer. Uh, you know, I just know him as as old Grandpa Star Wars when it comes to the Office. Uh, but seeing him and uh, and the Wangers jumping on Fortnite and uh, and playing Squad was, was pretty impressive. So I need to catch up with uh, with the Fortnite skills of the Office. And they haven't they don't they haven't played with Dorian yet, I don't think, so hopefully we'll get a game going where we can uh, we can all do it. And you know what, maybe maybe I'll stream my end on Collider Games, and they can stream their end on, on Wangers and uh, Knapsack can do it on his channel. And then Dorian's got his own stuff going on as well, so maybe we can have the four different versions available on in four different places. Uh, go down faster. I don't think I've ever dropped here before. I never noticed this camera. Sorry, that's a stupid thing to nerd out about, but just having half of my life being the entertainment industry I see a camera in a game and I always kind of like notice it or like little things like lighting in games and stuff like that I know like most people nowadays appreciate that kind of stuff because games are getting so cinematic but it's always been something that it, I've nerded out about
Oh, that's different from shield potion. I don't think I've ever used that before. Slurp juice, huh? Slow. Slow gain in shield. I hear a chest. Yep, one more. Try this. Did not want to pick up that gun, but whatever. Where am I going? How did this place turn into a fucking maze? One thing I will have to do when we start streaming more regularly is I'm going to have to move this mic because the mic arm is j just blocking almost all of the chat. Okay, so that slurp juice only fills up to 25. That's fine. Not a big deal. Just want to go find a little bit more shield. Where are you? You sound like you're right there, but you couldn't be, because you're on the roof. Yeah, but I want to swap. I want to let me. There you go. Okay. Well, while I'm here and I've got some direct engagement with you guys, um, let me know what you think of the channel so far. We're kind of trying a little bit of everything. Um, I like doing like the developer interviews and stuff like that because, honestly, I'm interested in 
how games are made and how developers think their game is going to be received versus how it actually gets received and stuff like that. We did some gameplay with... Oh, jeez, it's... So grenade launcher is not my uh grenade launcher is not my gun turns out uh no i never really played bullet storm um when was that that was 2000 2013 bullet storm uh if I'm thinking of the right one. I never, yeah, no, I never really got into it. It's, um, it was just one, one that missed me. Um, but anyway, yeah, like I was saying, so we've been doing some different stuff with the channel. It, it all kind of spawned around being able to go do E3 coverage because last year Collider did E3 coverage for Awesome Tacular, which was the show on Go90. And we didn't have that show this year and we still had the ability to go to E3. And we had a bunch of people who are gamers uh, in the office. And they were like, well... And we had a channel that was sitting around. So it was like, well, let's do a... Let's see if we can do some gaming news. Let's see if we can do some stuff with our love of gaming. Um, and I say gaming news, but I want to push away from that only because I know the channel's small and I know that the best things, the channels that will do the best in news are the ones that are going to be the biggest channels. Um, so I feel like we can do something different. Like, we're never going to be faster than... Uh, some of the established news channels that are out there, like, you know, your IGNs and your game spots and things like that. But hopefully we can do something that's different. That, and we also just like playing games, so hopefully people are down to uh, watch us play games, and hopefully we can do something different with that as well. Because if you're a fan of Collider in general, and you're a fan of games, and you just want to see Collider people playing games, awesome. Let us know. And that'll that'll be something that we, you know, put more effort into doing. Um, but if it's something, hopefully, it's something that can stand on its own. You know. Meanwhile, I go find this person.
Oh well, it's worth a try. And that is exactly why I usually drop as far away as possible. I'm gonna do one more, but I wanna see what the world of dropping fast and early is like. You know, just first thing that the bus passes over. Well, what's what's down there? Uh, yeah, I need a skin for sure. All right. So the second I can drop, I'm going for it. Oh, interesting. So I've never seen the the jet drop. People, are, yeah, people are dropping a lot faster know what they're doing with this strategy, and that's why no one is dropping at the same pace as me. Oh, or, or it could just be that I'm not fucking pushing the stick forward. Yep, yep, I see people. I see people. Oh, I'm gonna be out in the first 10. This is how this is going to go down. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's already people firing at me. I don't have any guns. Oh, God. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, and that's the thing, just like, these controls are not ingrained in my head yet, to the point where I, like, if I, if I panic, it's just, it goes out the window immediately. Oh, well. Let me be playing a lot more of it, yeah. Oh, that was a quick one. Well, guys, thanks so much for checking it out. Um, hopefully, we're going to be doing a lot more streams with people who are better at this game than me, and hopefully, we're going to be doing streams with the games that I am better at, but also... Stuff that we can just randomly screw around in, stuff that we can be playing through story. Um, you know, we're starting to get in a position where we're getting early access to certain games. Like, let me know if you guys are interested in just seeing stuff as soon as we can do it. Sometimes we get early access to things, uh, you know, before embargo, so we can put up stuff like that. Sometimes we get early access to, like, really small games that, that I've never heard of the developer or the studio, and they're, you know, small indie titles, but they might be something interesting for you guys. Um, I want to get a good idea of where the community is sitting, how you guys are uh, feeling about all this kind of stuff, what you would want to see from this channel. So let me know in the comments. Um, let me know on Twitter. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Joey Russell, R A double S double O L. And you can all find me on Instagram there as well. Be sure to check out more Collider games. Thanks, guys. Also, I've never ended a broadcast before. So this is, you know, the awkward bit of how do I end the broadcast?